Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in. We have CKB Nervous Network for all the CKB family out there. It's a 12 hour chart, 419, 2021, 9 p.m. Central Time. Let's go. Wow. Um, that move with Bitcoin really pulled the market down. Uh, and it just basically pulled all the wind out of the CKB sales. As far as I was concerned, I mean, this thing was setting up pretty nicely for a potential retest. Uh, so this couldn't have happened at a worse time. Um, but it did. And now we've got an inverse shift pitchfork up along with some Fibonacci uh, retracement. I'm just going to go ahead and move this over. Uh, so we can definitely see how we have blown through the 38.2 coming up on the 50 and in addition uh, we have the 618 Let's gonna move that over here like this there we go and um, <clears throat> and like I had mentioned in previous videos earlier this week uh, I said be careful if the bottom drops off remember I was telling everybody this and people were calling me crazy I said watch this 50% line this is a powerful line a lot of people will buy the dip and flip the coin. That's why they call it the 50-50 line. Uh, there is some risk to that. Uh, however, it's a lot safer to wait on the 618 line. And if this reverses, well, you can just buy back in when it sets up for a, uh, a run. Um, a lot, the 618 line is a very powerful line. And if we take a few things into consideration here like this 200 moving average let's just go ahead and kind of draw an extension I wish there is like some sort of 200 mo or moving average extension or something like that but this is fine for now uh, let's just go ahead and think for a second okay if the 200 keeps pulling up at the rate it is CKB's trading right on the median line at a downward angle. Uh, we may see CKB come all the way down to the 61.8 line. It wouldn't surprise me, and it would probably happen around May 1st, somewhere in there, uh, or within this area um, here, April 23rd to May 1st. Let's see if we can get a little Fibonacci going to try and predict uh, when that may possibly happen. <clears throat> okay. So right now we measured this swing high to this swing low. And interestingly enough, um, you can definitely see how Fibonacci detected or correlated with this shift in momentum. Uh, you know, we kind of had a heavy sell-off and then it just kind of traded sideways. In addition, we've got a Fibonacci time zone coming up at 11 p.m. Central Time uh, tonight. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I mean, these are some pretty heavy candles. Um, but they are starting to kind of wick. Uh, so they're not completely full body. Uh, so... I mean, MACD still, still, still suggesting that uh, we are in heavy selling. Uh, until we start to see some pink bars uh, show up, it may not be a good idea to really mess with this. Uh, RSI's in the gutter, absolutely. 33 on a 12-hour chart. Let's look at some previous uh, examples of when we got down this low. Uh, back in August of 20, uh, CKB did shoot up. Uh, interestingly enough, the RSI level kind of bounced the same exact way. Uh, don't be don't be surprised if uh, we see this RSI uh, run down to the 20s. Uh, absolutely, at the uh, we're in the low 30s, 20s uh, may happen. <coughs> and. Uh, if it gets really bad, uh, you can definitely see how uh, six for an RSI. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, so you can see that uh, 
CKB definitely has a history of really dipping deep uh, when there is no support. Uh, I'm fearing uh, we could be in a situation uh, similar to this, uh, primarily because right now we have dropped since March 31st to present day, April 19th. So in about 19 days, this thing has retraced about 50%. Uh, that's pretty wild, but uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, this retracement. 72, 73% uh, is possible. Uh, same with, I'm, I'm just kind of looking like right here, had another huge dip. What was this retracement like? Another 70, uh, you know, 70 plus percent retracement. Uh, interestingly enough, let's go ahead and measure. I'm curious about this 61.8 line. Bear with me. Okay. So the 61.8 is uh, roughly 58%, give or take. Uh, I'm curious now as to what this level would be down to this line. So, I mean, 83%, uh, man, um, where would 73% be? So if this thing retraces like it did in the past, the so 73%, this thing could be going back down close to a penny. Uh, we, we absolutely hope that is not the case. I'm not here to try to scare anybody or try to encourage selling uh, or, or influence uh, your portfolio or decisions. That's your call. But uh, I'm just throwing this out there in what I am observing. And uh, I definitely think that if this bottom breaks here, we may see CKB really drift and check this 200 moving average on around May 2nd. Uh, this is a 61.8 line. It's interesting how these lines kind of intersect uh, with one another. We have a 200 moving average, a Fibonacci uh, retracement, and a Fibonacci time zone all coming together uh, within one day. So this point in time really fascinates me um, as I'm watching uh, this chart explaining things to you. I can see the bottom body of this candle kind of hug, hugging lower and lower. Uh, bear with me one second. So uh, you can definitely see uh, CKB is double bottoming on the one minute chart, which means absolutely nothing. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm almost thinking, you know, we're looking at a three hour chart, you know, oh gosh, man. I'm almost thinking that we see this thing really drift. Uh, it's it's too early to tell if it's going to get hung up on this 50% line, in my opinion. I'm going to have to do another video tomorrow on this. Uh, but that's just kind of my general observations on CKB. I wanted to throw this video out there because I know there's a lot of people searching for information. Currently, the market is red. Uh, we look at Bitcoin. Uh, this is what spiked uh, the big sell-off. And what do you guys see here? This is what's called an ending diagonal. And this is a bearish reversal uh, pattern that shows up in bull runs. And usually that's not a good sign uh, when this does happen. Uh, this was looking very bullish, I think, to a lot of people uh, when this was forming simply because it looked like a giant ascending triangle uh, had formed and uh, people came out of the woodwork uh, and not realizing uh, that it truly was uh, more of an ending diagonal, uh, I guess, in the end. Uh, so we have that. And I want to illustrate, uh, as far as Bitcoin goes, 
uh, it's very important to uh, learn from past examples of uh, you know how these crashes happen and I'm not saying Bitcoin's gonna crash but I wanted to kind of show you guys this this is the 2017 bull market looks very similar to today uh, very steady um, sharp upward increase uh, you know we're talking 17 18 19 thousand dollars uh, you know upward uh, movement and we have an ending diagonal that happened simple as that it's over uh, same same with what we're seeing right now uh, you can see in this 2019 um, bull run uh, what I think happened really uh, you know it, it just didn't people were probably still recovering from the 2017 run uh, it was a nice pop-up and this would have been easy to call I wasn't really trading crypto at this time but Elliott wave theory all day long right here uh, that would have alerted me that this would have been the top somewhere up here um, but I just want to show you guys that uh, we you know nobody can predict when the bull market is gonna end I'm not saying this is ending right now uh, in fact if we look at this 2017 uh, model or the data um, you know this is a very much very smaller uh, scale and in effect uh, we almost had uh, you know what appears to be an ending diagonal meeting an ending diagonal uh, in this sense so as you can see if there's enough um, bullish momentum in the market uh, it can break these types of patterns like it did here I'm not saying we're gonna break a pattern or not uh, but something to con to consider so I hope you guys found this um, technical analysis um, helpful and I hope you guys uh, we can recover from this uh, this break uh, look at this uh, little Ada Cardano uh, I don't remember when I drew up this uh, ascending triangle I haven't visited this um, this chart in quite some time but you can see I was messing around measuring some Fibonacci time zone and look at this I find this fascinating Fibonacci I was able to identify and this could have been mid-March when I was messing around with Cardano uh, this would have predicted a, a very big pivot point in the market and that was totally predictable Dogecoin uh, for those of you guys that are trading Dogecoin I guess since I've got you here I might as well explain some things to you with this uh, here's I've, I'm holding Dogecoin right now because I'm here to make money if it pops not a big position uh, just a small $2,500 position on Doge we can see that uh, we have a wedge pattern happening Fibonacci time zone um, arriving April 21st at 6 a.m. now this to me would signify a new high or a pivot point uh, if the bottom falls off for whatever reason on 420 day uh, we could definitely see this thing start trending downwards but this is the channel dogecoin has been trading in this bull cycle so it would make sense to me you know maybe 420 happens in the morning Elon Musk puts out a tweet or something and next thing you know we have all day long and maybe <laughs> uh, maybe into uh, the evening or into 2021 uh, we can really see this thing pop now the last time doge moved we went up uh, this to an equivalent of this bar here so if price action uh, rockets from this level here which it very well could that brings us up to about 69 cents go figure uh, for a golden ratio uh, I'm hoping we see 69 cents it's 
looking like we might. If it continues to trade in this channel, we may see 69 cents, I shit you not, by April 24th. Or uh, at any time from now until April 24th, because this thing could easily trade out of the channel and hit that mark. Uh, even even uh, by the end of the day, early morning tomorrow, or April 21st. So, you guys, a lot to consider here with this market. Uh, if you're not familiar with the emotional cycles of the stock market or crypto market, just go ahead and Google it. I think it's important to be aware of your mental health and well-being while you're trading because uh, you don't want to be FOMOing and making bad choices. If you find yourself FOMOing, get out. Don't trade. Just uh, regroup your thoughts, uh, monitor, wait for, uh, you know, a solid re-entry point and, uh, you know, uh, don't, don't risk, uh, you know, don't risk your, your whole portfolio for stupid, easy money. Uh, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this TA once again, uh, this is video has gone a little long. Uh, so I do apologize for that. I just thought it was relevant to get a video out on CKB. And it looks like it's going to drop even further here. Uh, we've got a uh, descending triangle here uh, on a bare leg. So that's going to definitely drop us down to the, the, the two cent range for sure. Um, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, this could be a reversal point as well, so we may not see that two cent range, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. So uh, we'll check back in tomorrow, see how everybody's doing, uh, and we'll see where CKB is. So I hope everybody has a great night.